Hey guys, so <laughs> another wonderful February dreary day. Uh, winter's back, but we still gotta be out here working. So today we're gonna be working on these reductions. This is essentially what we're doing. We're taking it down from five inch stock to a known four and a half inch. So these are, that's the difference between nominal and actual. So nominal, these pieces are five by five, but if you measure them, they are four and 15 sixteenths in some cases. What we do is just to avoid having to remember all the little measurements that this piece is exactly four and 15 sixteenths, that one's that much, you just take it all down to four and a half and make all your joinery down to four and a half. So if you do that, then you should be perfectly fine. And so you can see we did this face right here with the router and I'm gonna come with the chisel and clean it up a little bit. It doesn't help that it's very moist and humid today. So all this sawdust just kind of stays on there. Uh, you know, in a couple days when it dries up, it'll be perfectly fine. We'll be able to see where it is that we need to take down a little bit more. So I use this router with a big plexiglass plate. This is about 12 inches by 12 inches. And it allows me to keep this router perfectly level. So these tenons get to be a little, a little thin, and so it could be hard to balance the router exactly right. You imagine it, the original plate that this came with is only on that metal part right there. So by expanding this plexiglass, it allows that table to have more contact with the wood and keep the router perfectly vertical when we're using, when we're cutting these reductions. And all I have is a straight flute router bit. It's a half inch shank, uh, and it's about an inch and a half or so. That part doesn't really matter as long as you have a half inch protrusion, maybe more, might be less. It depends on how much material you need to take off. You do layout, get those lines on the side to be exactly four and a half inches, and then take it down to the one that's the least compromising. Okay guys, so let's get to it. Gotta clean up this piece by chamfering it and then doing the fully housed braces as well. We have three other pieces to go, so we'll take you through it. Hey guys, so we finished up all four of these beams, the ones with the through tenons. Now we gotta make the wedge. So the wedge is gonna be four and a half inches out from this shoulder because they're going into five by fives, but remember it's reduced. 
So four and a half inches from this shoulder is where that hole should be. But we're going to draw board it a little bit so that the wedge actually has some shape to actually pull this beam into the, into the post. So I'm thinking using a one and a half inch chisel, that's going to be a pretty big wedge, but we have enough relish that that's going to be okay. So yeah, let's lay out and start drilling and chiseling. Dude, we need to build pagodas. That's okay. I think that's all right for that one. Hey guys, we're wrapping up for the day. I have three more of these mortises to do. I have two over there that I've already drilled, and all I need to do is chisel out the, the mortise for them. And these are just for the wedges. So I wasn't originally gonna do these today, but because I already had them out and I started to think about it some more, these mortises for the wedges needed to happen while these pieces were out. So before I got to the posts, because, you know, quite frankly, it is one of the things that can take more time. Usually I cut the frame and then at the end of it is when I drill the holes for the pegs. And this frame, because these are wedges and they needed to be mortised out, you know, I just went ahead and did it. So tomorrow the weather's looking a little bad. It's gonna be raining pretty heavily all day, so I'm probably gonna be inside making wedges and pegs. So if you've never made pegs before, <laughs> there's not, there, so there's a million and one ways to make pegs and not a single one of them is fast. So <laughs> yeah, we'll see how, which method I, I decide to go with. Anyway, the wedges are gonna be another thing that I have to think about because they're, they have to be tapered, both on entry and then all over the entire length of them. Uh, and then on Friday, we have pretty good weather coming up. So it should be sunny and we're gonna work on those posts and I hope that we can complete the posts all on Friday. And if we can get through the posts that I know that we can finish this pergola on time, for next weekend because those are the ones that are probably have probably have the most complicated joinery. Anyway guys, hopefully we make good progress in the next couple days. See ya.